It's a big crowd. Welcome to the December 18th, 2014 Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, we have some changes tonight. <clears throat> Not the fact that just we're missing two members. Not a permanent change. You're talking about the Lindsay? Lindsay, yes. Yeah, Lindsay is uh, just temporary. Lindsay's temporary. In. So we have a, a temporary secretary um, because many of you know um, uh, that Nicole is no longer with us. She has taken a position with the town as a firefighter. Um, so, if I can just, you know, get the old pulpit going here, um, for the benefit of the few that are in the room, but mostly for the benefit that people are watching, because I do know, I've had people say that they have watched our meetings online, and um, we're always glad to have the company in the room with us, but for those of you who are watching in, uh, um, at home, uh, Nicole was with the zoning board for, I mean the building department, for 11 years, and um, when I think about the work that she did, I'm reminded of a quote from Harry Truman. It's amazing, something to the effect, I can, don't, probably not exact, but it's amazing what can be accomplished when you don't worry about who gets the credit. Mm -hmm. And that certainly is true of Nicole. She shepherded um, hundreds if not thousands of applications, both for the Zoning Board of Appeals, but for permits, um, for work in town. Um, answering questions from applicants, answering questions from neighbors, from abutters, um, from people who are just looking for information. Uh, a valuable part of um, a great board, uh, and, excuse me, not a great board, but a great department. And um, it's great to see that she's going on to something I think that uh, she worked certainly very, very hard for and we wish her well. Um, I don't think anybody can under, understate what she was responsible for and the great job she did to keep track of deadlines, to keep track of applications, who needs to be where, what, when. Uh, she did a great job and we, um, I know as a board and as a, as a department, thank her for her years of service to the town and, you know, wish her well. Um, hopefully um, you will get the chance to see her in her new position. Um, and I suppose maybe, hopefully not, since she's on the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> she's in working the ambulance. <laughs> she'll be working the ambulance, <laughs> just That's so it. everybody That's understands it. what but we're talking about. <laughs> she'll be as competent there as, as she certainly was here, and um, you know, that's about that all that can be said. And, you know, so her cousin, right? Her cousin, Lindsay, is filling in tonight. Um, we will eventually get a new secretary. Right? Eventually. Very well spoken, and, and you know, we certainly all second that. And um, uh, I, uh, well deserved. And, you know, we're, we're oh, all. Uh, do I have a motion to declare this? No, <laughs> yeah. Paul Harris Knight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can have a resolution. A resolution. Yeah, a resolution. <laughs> okay. Proclamation. Yeah. I'll let you do it. You probably worked with her longer <laughs> than anybody. Probably, but uh, I would well, I mean, certainly anybody. have a resolution um, acknowledging uh, Nicole's efforts on behalf of the board and in the larger sense on behalf of the town in the, in the building department and appreciate her time and wish her well on her um, future endeavors continuing to serve the people of the town of Situate. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's our first resolution. We even, had a, we even have people in the audience. She's great. She's great. She's great. Yeah. First resolution I think this board has ever voted. So There we go. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Uh, we do have um, a continuance tonight, right? So. Correct. Why don't we start with Sacred that landing. in case anybody's here on that. Um, and I'll let you read that into the record. She'll be right on the top of the file there. Stockbridge one? Stockbridge, yes. Yeah, again. Is there any hope, Neil, that that's going to be resolved in the beginning of the year? The 15th. January? The, the, yeah, they want to put on January 15th. Good. Neil, this letter? That's it, yeah. Okay. Dear Ms. Trudeis and members of the Zoning Board of Appeals, the applicant is seeking to continue again the meeting with the Zoning Board on the above reference matter from December 18th, 2014 until the first January meeting in 2015. The plan revisions were completed and will receive John Chessie's comments on Monday. He is requesting some additional changes which we feel ne necessary at further meeting. We, also, uh, we are also willing to extend the time for the acting on our recent request. 
until the time of the next meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals in January 2015. Kindly advise that this written request is sufficient. Thank you for your assistance with this matter. Robert Cumlin. Very good. So if anybody's here on Stuckridge Woods, um, that's continued until January. Well, it will be in a second. Uh, do we have a motion? Move to continue the applicant at the applicant's at the applicant's request until the next uh, the January meeting, 2015. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So um, January 15th is the next meeting for, and that will be continued. One one five one five. One one five one five. Very good. Okay, our next application. Thirty nine Bayberry Road. I think. Um, okay, so you get to read. You get to read the request. <laughs> basically, the yeah, the yeah. the public the publication. Yeah. Um, the hearing before the. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Okay. That the, the, we have an applicant from Dennis Baylog and Robert Demers of 39 Bayberry Road who requested Mass General Laws 40A Section 6 Special Permit Finding to add second floor to a pre-existing non-conforming garage accessory to the pre-existing uh, pre non-conforming single-family <laughs> dwelling located at 39 Bayberry Lane. Anyone Come on up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, three, <coughs> approximately three and a half years ago. First of all, just, can you just oh, identify yeah, yourself? Sure, I'm Robert Demers, okay. and from 39 Bayberry. Um, approximately three and a half years ago, we came before um, you all and um, had a, uh, a proposal for a two-car garage with a room over it and a. Uh, a, a, a walkway, a pergola, and uh, a, a room extension. So I'll let me reference this so you can kind of get an idea of what the scope of the project is. Um, we have the connection to the one side now. So I'm sorry, you said you had approval what? for helical piles um, rather than two well, screws. Yeah. Okay. Two screws. The screws that go into the ground. Gotcha. Um, so uh, we've already done that, um, and you give us the uh, permit for that. So what we want to do now is just do um, use the existing structure and then do the room over it. So it's really downsized quite a bit. So to clarify, that we granted permission to uh, raise and reconstruct the existing garage in the past. That's right. Um, but that work was not done? Yeah, we decided after getting numerous um, proposals um, for it that it was going to be quite expensive. So we abandoned, it, abandoned that project and then thought we would just downsize um, by doing what we're doing, what we're pr proposing to do now. Okay. The, one, the application you had several years ago in 2011, you were going to be moving the garage at that point. We are going to tear it down. Right, but moving it because when I read the yes. decision, um, in fact I had asked Maureen, did the, did the old file come up, do you know? No, we have the decision, but I asked for the file. I, I don't think she could probably, maybe she couldn't find it. Because you were moved, it was definitely getting moved at that time, right? Uh, well, could I, could, I, I did review that, and that's one of the reasons I, because we had um, considered just letting them go ahead and do it because, uh, you know, if it would fit within the, 
you know, the intent of, of the decision, but they were moving it. I don't think it was much more than six inches. That was oh, my okay. recollection. It was a very, do you recall how much? It was it, very minor. It was yeah. very minor, yeah. It was just to. Yeah, less than a foot. Yeah. Also, um, and I'm Dennis Baylor, uh, all of our neighbors now are on board. They weren't on board last time, but uh, this time. Did, did, um, did we get any comments from any of the neighbors, any letters? Sometimes we do get that in support or... Um, At least they told me they were. <laughs> yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure they are. If they're not here tonight, we're probably going to... Uh, not sure not <laughs> one, of the, one of the concerns I have, gentlemen, is that the map that you have provided us um, is not a certified plot plan. Um, it hasn't been signed off by uh, Mr. Cavanaro. It um, we don't have we don't have the you know the, the setbacks on the lot line here. And help. Yeah, we have one and a half. That's it. That's what that means. I have no idea. Why would? Doesn't look like it. Well, it still isn't certified. So you got to get a you got to get a certified. <coughs> Us. So, is, is this if, if I may, I, I think a lot of times the, you know, they, they, they'll make copies that without the stamp. All this requires yeah. is a stamp. I recall seeing this. Uh, we went back to the original file, um, and this, there'd be no reason that would change from the original file. In, in, do we have one? In, that's why I asked. Yeah, the we do. File. But it's easy enough for them to get a stamp before yes. they come in for the building permit. Yes. And I also want to just make another comment. <laughs> this is far less this is much much smaller the way the decision was written they could have built a two-story garage 40 feet right. in the air and uh, uh, two i think it was two car no? yes yeah, yeah two, two car, car two story two sorry it's it's just a single car with a little storage oh, up good, over good, good, good. Okay, good, good. that is a stamp yep yeah. well i don't know if that's oh yeah here he is yeah so yeah, that's that's a stamp for building credit they're looking for a stamp can we just move that from one file to the next? Huh? Can we well, just move it from one file to the yeah. next? Yeah. So it probably has some of the same. We just have to have some but it's, it's a stamp on it. Yeah. It's somewhat relevant. I think the applicant, if we move forward on this with this application, this the applicant could have this plan submit stamped it. and submit yeah. it with the yeah. for the well, building well, project. I, uh, can I add one more thing, too? Um, yeah. the, the, I, I know you need it perhaps to write the decision, but the, the, the footprint of the existing garage is proposed to stay exactly the same. So yep. nothing's going to move. Okay. Um, the only, and the other thing that I noticed before, um, talked about what were you, what do you plan to do with this room? It's unheated. It will have electricity and it's basically going to be storage. No, no plumbing, no heat. Okay. We don't have uh, basements. Because I think the one of the conditions last time it was not especially I think we were concerned about the proximity to the other the garage, garage yeah. that it would not be converted to, at any time to livable space. Correct. Are you okay with that too? Yep. Yes. Okay. Did we mention though that they put, they want to put a bathroom up there? That that I think why would you need that for storage? Yeah. No, I mean. Just yeah. But, but I. Uh, no. No yeah. I don't object. Yeah, I agree, John. I'm not. It's not something I would necessarily. If you want us to prohibit it, we can prohibit it. But if but if we simply say no living space, then it can't be converted to a living space or an accessory dwelling. But that doesn't mean it couldn't have a toilet out there if you wanted to. If you had a, if you were using the garage as a workshop, and you know, or a small office space that you were, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't see any reason that one should not have the ability to have a toilet and a sink. But isn't know. office space livable space? No. No. Uh, no. I mean, an office space, no, absolutely not, because, okay. would, no. Uh, <laughs> you guys want uh, to? I uh, could uh, live in my uh, office. Well, no, I do. Office doesn't, usually. It doesn't. No, this is you don't have two egresses required in an office. You, you don't need to have smoke detectors in an office necessarily. Uh, no, it's not, and it would be illegal if they did that. But I think it's an allowed accessory use in an accessory building. Uh, office, workroom. Workroom, toilet. Uh, I mean, yeah. you could have a shower there without, it, yep. it would still be within the, within the limitations that we want. Right. Without, to avoid having it become a habitable space which can be rented and 
expand upon the right. the use. Um, mm -hmm. So, so I, think we, I think we can do that with a, a statement as opposed to limiting. I think we just, everything. yeah, simply say it can't be converted to livable space. <coughs> leave, it, leave it as broad as possible. So, uh, you could use the word sleeping room, something like that. Again, uh, yeah, I mean, there's many ways to characterize it. Uh, Neil, do you have any other comments? No, I just want, I, I think it's, um, you know, we were just trying to cover the bases and, you know, there was some thought that they could move forward with the decision they already had, that, uh, but that I decided it wasn't my decision and um, so they're here before the board just to make sure, it, uh, you know. We're, this is almost covered within the last decision. Really. What's, it's a lot smaller than the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, I think it's, uh, yeah, be supportive of it. Now, my, my files had this in it. What is that? That Bay Bear Road will need to file with conservation. I don't know who wrote that. Oh, we we yeah, yeah. gone through Patrick, where he's giving his approval. Okay. Just okay. saying. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, All, right. Okay. All right. Just yeah, by before way. they get a build, well, they actually they're using the um, same structure. I mean, if it's if it's no, if it's, it's not, I have I haven't looked at. They can build on top of it. They wouldn't have to go back to Patrick because they went to Patrick for the helical piles. Uh, so they're not touching the ground, but you know if they get into, you know, repairing anything and it's on the ground, they would have to go back. Yes, but the, we have a permit review process that would pick that up. Okay, so that's not our concern anyway. Just wanted to let you know somebody wrote it on my copy mm -hmm. here. It was not me. So, um, is there anybody in the audience that like to be heard on this application? Okay. I just clarify a, a point. The <clears throat> was a building permit pulled from uh, in conjunction with the original application. Is that why the columns have been put in, or were they? Um, I'm not sure. I think it was maybe settling. Is that the reason? Yes, okay. it was settling. So you yes. were you were. I think by that point they probably made the decision not that they didn't want to do the brand new one and you know, trying to maintain okay. the building. So the application, the 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 decision we made before, or this board made before. Um, it's more than two years old, so it would technically not be usable right now. Well, it's been extended by the uh, act applicant has extended it. Act of, if, if, it, if the application was filed before, or decision made before 2000, August 2012, I think they're automatically extended. Okay, that's I'm just so ba basically the applicant is before us with a valid permit to do something that's much larger, and asking us to weigh in on. A much more conservative application right. um, and um, grant the relief requested. It seems pretty straightforward. Okay. All right. Do we have a motion? Move to grant um, the applicant at 39 Bayberry Road and cons uh -huh. uh, to, you're not raising and reconstructing your. Adding a second floor to a pre-existing non-conforming garage um, in conjunction with the plan submitted by Cavanaro Consulting. No, that's, you can't have, it's, that's, that's even way outdated before this. I mean, this is just a site plan. You don't really have a plan for No, but it's, but it's the only plan we have that, that. No, we got this one. No, that's. Yeah. 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 That's no, that's not the one. This is where's the other one that's in the file? Right here. Yeah. There's a building plan here. Yeah. You want to look at the uh, okay. profile. Okay. All right. So. <coughs> Basically, we're also within the existing footprint. It's within the existing footprint as shown right, on right, the Cavanaugh right. construction plan, dated. Five nine eleven. Yeah, let's use that. Then you don't have to wor worry about getting another no, side this, plan. This is okay. this is the proposed addition with the two family. This is the one that. Well, use the existing. You could use the existing conditions. But it, mm, I, I think this complicates the matter. The okay. one that the one that has this one before us be the EC. is the easiest one. The the EC drawing uh, dated twelve one ten. It's not stamped. I don't think we can use it. I don't feel like we can use it. We can't reference yeah, I, it. I would just uh, re suggest a solution that okay. if you we simply to. refer to the existing footprint on the on the stamp plan, they have an existing footprint, correct? That's what Ed? I said. Yeah. There is. Yeah. 
Um, I'll go back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Move to grant the relief requested by the applicant to um, to add a second floor to an existing uh, non-conforming garage um, as shown on a plan by Cavanaro Construction dated 5-9-11 and a plan by Paul Bonarat Bonarigio Bonarigio um, dated 10, excuse me, 11, 10, 14. Um, with the stipulation that the second floor shall not be used as sleeping dwelling area. I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather, I'd move to amend it to say living space. Living space. Yeah, just kind of broader. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. For, okay. How about for living spaces other than allowed accessory uses? Because living spaces not only allowed accessory uses, something like that. Say that again, Neil? I mean, just so a future building inspector doesn't misinterpret it. Living space other than allowed accessory uses. Uh, That's I have no problem with that. That's a good way to amend it. Yep. Living space. Um, can we keep these? Yes, you may. Absolutely. Okay. Then we'll just keep these. You get, this yeah. Can you can have your back. designs back, okay. um, and your in your photos. Let's see yours. Let's, let's see what we need. Maybe if any. Should oh, keep actually, it high and dry. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sierra, could I? I we actually I, don't need these. I don't maybe think. maybe so one more uh, modification of that. <laughs> yeah, well, because you can get a uh, accessory dwelling by, by special accessory person. Use. As of right, accessory uses. Uh, as of right, accessory uses. As use. of right, yeah. No, it is a list of as of right accessory uses. Okay. In uh, which don't require a special permit. Okay. Does that sound good? Sounds, sounds great. great. Thank you very much. Just wanted to start. Thank you very much. Welcome. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry good Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Where's our gingerbread? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> slip this into the. Cole, Cole told me I don't have to write anymore for the next three weeks. So. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Why would she say that? I don't know. Who's on? Who's on? I, we have. Do we know? Have to look. I'll do. I'll do it. I don't mind. I, I have the last one. Okay. Well, which, bring, which kind of brings me to, we're going to have to, until we get really, really set. Don't you, yeah, you had, um, there was only one last week, right? I know, I didn't write that. Spaldy now? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's the other thing Nicole did, just make sure we never file anything late. So we're going to have to up our game here. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me a little nervous. Neil, okay. Neil, will, Neil will remind us. Nicole kept you guys in line. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't think so? Very, very road. Okay. And that's going to be Mr. Tibbetts. They call me Mr. Tibbetts. Oh, Mr. Okay. Tibbetts. Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs. put the inflection there. They call me Mr. Tibbs. As opposed to. Mr. <coughs> Alrighty. Moving along. Then go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. I'm attorney guard for the uh, uh, applicant uh, Phil Arbach, the property owner, is to my left, and of course our project engineer, you all know, is Greg Morse. 
As stated in the public notice before you this evening is a 48 section 6 clause 1 request for a finding um, to raise and reconstruct a single family residential dwelling at 6 Crescent Avenue up on 2nd Cliff. Um, you'll see from the plans that have been submitted that the uh, in the application that has been filed that the lot itself is pre-existing non-conforming at 8,821 square feet. Of course, we're not going to change that. The uh, front yard setback is at 24.4 feet, and we are going to change that and make it conforming to 31.2 feet. As far as the lot width goes, there is a discrepancy in my application, which was based on the initial draft plan. The application before you indicates that the lot width will actually decrease from 78.5 feet to 78 feet, similar to the situation we had with the O'Donoghue project some time ago. Because the lot uh, lines are not parallel, as we move the house back to maintain the front yard setback, it narrows the measurement through the building at that point. But the actual um, survey came in at 81.3 feet, uh, existing to 80.6 feet proposed. So that's a decrease in the um, lot width of about 0.7 feet. Uh, I would suggest to the board that that is de minimis and you could make the requisite finding as you have made in the past to that effect. The house itself is, um, the existing home per the assessor's field card is 2,718 square feet. The applicant proposes to raise and reconstruct that house and build a um, uh, a house that is of the first two floors, 2,447 square feet, compared to the 1,906 square feet of the existing first two floors of the house, which represents a 28% increase over the main living space. Uh, the mm -hmm. bylaw, of course, you know, talks about gross living space. So as far as the gross living space goes, including the basement, the first two floors, and then the attic, it would be a, a 4,128 uh, square foot gross living area, or fl a floor area, I should say, not living area, but floor area, compared to the existing home, which is 27 point, 2,718 feet, resulting in a 52% increase. But I think it, it's fair to say to really compare the two homes by comparing the first two floors, which is essentially the living space, which um, represents a 28% increase. I think you can see from the site plan that Greg will go through in a moment, as well as the, um, the elevations that have been submitted, that this is this is a house that's consistent with other houses in the area that have been renovated and be it built, rebuilt. And Greg, if you would just okay. take us through the plan. Okay. The plan that we submitted, you'll see what we have here. We have the property lines going around. The lot itself, again, as Steve said, 8,823 square feet. It's in the residence three zoning district. There were no wetlands on this lot. There were no floodplain issues on this lot. The existing house sits up within the front yard setback. It's non-conforming to the front yard setback at 24.4 feet. You'll see in bold the proposed house location. The proposed house location complies with the front yard. Uh, it complies with both side yard and the rear yard setback. So we're pulling it back into the lot. As Steve said, you'll see that the lot lines taper in on the lot. So as we pull the house back, the lot width decreases. Uh, in this case, it's decreasing by 0.7 feet, which is just shy of 9 inches. Um, I also have, we had submitted with the application, copies of the architectural plans. Uh, what I have here is just a quick on the elevations that were submitted. With those, you have the full copies of the architectural, including floor plans. But what you'll see, the bottom picture here uh, represents the front of the house. You'll see it's a standard two-story house. Um, it would be under the bylaws 35-foot height requirement. Um, there's a deck off the back of the house. Um, it would be probably a walkout basement in the back due to the topography on the land. <coughs> if you had any questions on that, I would answer them. Otherwise, I think Steve ran through the numbers. Overall, gross square footage, it's a 52%, and I believe we're at 22 22 percent 28 percent 28 percent as compared to the first two floors right for the first two floors Neil man uh, and I just looked through it I have no questions uh, no it, it seems like they've kind of uh, they can't do anything regarding a lot with it is what it is the lot area that can't change and right. uh, again you have addressed uh, where you could the front setbacks 
uh, you know, going from I think it was 24 to uh, 31.2. Right. Uh, so that uh, gets you up the street some. So there is some movement. I take it, I assume it's both town sewer, town water? Yes. Okay, so there's no uh, septic plan or right. issue that we have to worry about there. Uh, that was it. <coughs> I'm just deciding whether I want to live here. Uh, <laughs> trust me, I, I do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks we very all nice. Just, uh, no, I, I think the uh, pulling the lot house back on the lot um, is more beneficial than worrying about the uh, you know, less than one inch. Uh, one lot width, one foot, one yeah, foot of lot width, yeah. um, seven and a half seven inches. inches of lot width. So right. that would be the only concern. Of I all set. Okay. Maybe some people in the audience, though. Yeah, it 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 really it looks like a very nice design. Um, I think it'll be a nice improvement. <laughs> without saying anything negative about your own house. <laughs> but, um, you know, built in the 50s, and so, you know, you'll get to the latest building codes and looks like a nicely designed space. Um, is there anybody in the audience? Yes, ma'am. Would you uh, identify I'm yourself? I'm Maureen Rowley. I live at 9 Peggy Beach Road. Uh, they are gonna, my new neighbors are going to be right in my yard, more or less. <laughs> I have no objection to a new house. I think it would be a vast improvement. My issue is I want to make sure that uh, I'm protected while they're doing all this construction. The house next door to them, which was reconstructed a few years ago, my yard was flooded out because <coughs> they were draining everything into my yard. And uh, I don't want the same thing to happen. I'm sure you don't. They should have, you know, hay bales or whatever they do. And also I wanted to make a comment. The former neighbor, who we've had no issues with all these years. My house was there before this, but anyhow, uh, they're under the assumption that they can dump their yard waste. And they're and under the assumption that what? They can dump their yard waste into my yard. Yeah. No, I'm not saying the new people, the former neighbor was, and when I questioned her about it, she said, well, the new people can do that. I pay to have my yard waste taken away. And I do have a whole section of my yard a wall separating our property has all <coughs> the debris from up there, which has been deposited since last winter with all the storms. And I haven't had the means to get rid of it all, and I don't think I should. There's three or four trees there that belong up. Right. Did belong up and back. Are the old people gone? You bought the house, uh, yeah. Yes. We move the day the yeah. It's too bad. I don't want to have any bad feeling for anybody. Right. Well, Mr. Reese, why don't, why don't we, uh, my client has just informed me that he would be happy to take care of that debris. I'm sorry. As a new, oh, as, a, as your new neighbor, right. he's saying that he'd like to start off on a clean slate and would like to help take care of that debris on his, yeah, the former owner's I behalf. <laughs> Well, and you care. know, straight out, he's not responsible for it. So for him to come forward and say, I'm going to be a good neighbor, and I know this isn't my job, but I'm going to do that for you is pretty awesome. I think it is also. And what aggravated me most uh, when I came back from, I was away when we had that storm that deposited all the trees. Not one of the two houses up behind me called to say, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and I think that um, you know Neil works with people when they when they're when they're building and there is depending on what's going on back there's requirements for hay bales or whatever. But I think obviously right now you know you've got a neighbor that you can talk to, and say you know this is a problem and can what can we do to prevent something? And and I think you're going to be in good hands. Well, with the walk, I, I just we'll have a question for Greg. It's yep. a neighbor down gradient. Of this property, it, yeah, the whole property yeah. slopes to the it back, slopes. so it sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. goes from forty to thirty-six, so you got about a fourteen foot. Yeah, um, yeah. All flows to Peggy's the, way below. Peggy yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that this is is this Sarah had it. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 You are dark gradient then. <coughs> so um, 
I mean, you're not expanding the foot, you're not in expanding the impervious area more than 25 percent? I, I don't no. believe that we are, not okay. with the house footprint or the drive. So you yeah. probably won't need a stormwater permit. Um, and you're, no conservation? No, yes. no. But just check the state building code. The state building code has uh, stormwater requirements. And I think at the very least you put up sand uh, hay bales or something to prevent erosion. Yeah. We've been right. a saw, one of the uh, sots. We, yeah, we, yeah. We, yeah. We, we'll, we'll take, yeah. we will work with the building department obviously to yeah. take whatever precautions necessary to prevent the runoff from going during construction until the, obviously the landscaping sets in to Excellent. the neighbor's yard. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. So, do we have um, <coughs> a motion? Your turn, John. Yeah, yeah. Um, motion to grant uh, the applicant at 6 Crescent Ave um, special permit. Pursuant to section six of the law, bylaw, section what is it, uh, 810.2 to raise and reconstruct pre existing non conforming structure, namely a single family residence, <coughs> uh, based on the site plan dated from Morse Engineering dated 112514. Uh, Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. You. And I, I don't think we need to worry about the erosion patrol. That'll be taken care of. No, I'll, 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 I won't. Uh, yeah. decision. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'll write. Well, Nick, I, 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 I do want to add something. Um, we have a stormwater uh, bylaw if you increase the previous area, which right. you're not doing. We also have, it's <coughs> also taken care of by conservation into wetlands. Right. Um, the, there are provisions in the state building code uh, regarding stormwater, which are all resolved by the time they go through conservation and or stormwater. Um, uh, in this case here, we'll be looking for a site plan showing stormwater controls. So uh, when, you, when you prepare you the, the no plan problem. for the building permit. Sure. Okay. Sure. Thank you. I would. would you like to do the decision? Of course I would. <laughs> no, I mean, draft the decision for our consideration. Would you laugh the, like to draft the decision? <laughs> that I could is vote correct. too if you want. <laughs> we occasionally I change will. it. I will, gladly, sure. It would be for appreciated. The, for the viewing public, it's um, always helpful if we have an applicant with uh, Steve's experience to be able to uh, put together a draft um, decision because we're all doing this on a part-time basis and uh, sometimes life gets in the way, so it, it can no, speed things along. We not going to miss a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, right, Thank yeah. you. So Steve, you would you guys like uh, the copies of this too? If you yeah, need since, yeah. sure. Since Mr. Back. Guard's doing that, I don't need this. So. <laughs> I might have the original for the time, so I'll hold yeah. it down. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Merry Christmas. Good holidays. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And good luck with your new neighbors. Thank you. <laughs> well, Hi, I'm not in. <laughs> She'll be baking cookies. Now she's your friend. Oh my gosh, how are you? Good, how are you? It's a reminder how little there, how little it takes to be a good neighbor. You know, it, it, and I don't even mind if this is on. If applicants, right, right. but even if it's on, if, if applicants would talk to their neighbors before they come and speak with us, so often everyone's everyone understands. There's no apprehension. There's no concern about what the project is. Um, as uh, we could just go on real quick, we did have on our agenda the ZBA rules and regulations. Um, Nicole and I were not able to get together to put that together before she left and uh, since we're missing two board members anyway so I would suggest we move to continue that. Move Another to continue month. that discussion. I second it. I second. All in favor. Aye. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> okay. Um, no other business? Adjourn. Motion to adjourn? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, all. Merry Christmas, everyone. And to all a good night. And to all a good night. <laughs>